That's right. Say no to crack so you can live. Be a winner. Stay off crack. For more information, call the state's toll-free number, 1-800-522-5353. Hey, yo, I just paid my hard-earned money to walk up to the concession booth and say one ticket, please, for Cocaine Bear. Directed by Elizabeth Banks, starring uh, O'Shea Jackson's Ice Cube son, Ray Liotta and his fine with performance. And this one guy was recognizing, like, who is that? Where I know him. Oh, it's Han Solo. I think his name's Aaron Eckhart or, or, or something like that. But Cocaine Bear. The, the, the title, you know what the fuck you get into, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just called Cocaine Bear. You can't expect the Schindler's List from this shit, right? It's just in the line of snakes on a plane, you know, Sharknado. You know, it, the, the title's so crazy, you gotta see what's going on. And I'm here to say Cocaine Bear is a pretty fun time for the most part. Um, cocaine Blair, do I really need to explain the synopsis of this? Some cocaine gets dropped in the forest, the coke, the bear eats the cocaine and goes on a murderous rampage. Now I was gonna give you some kind of skit of me doing cocaine and things like that, but I don't need to do a skit because I'm already on cocaine. I did an eight ball before shooting this. As you can say, oh, I'm so excited. I was gonna do this slow motion montage of just me dumping cocaine all over myself, but my audience is too good for that. Bitches leave. <laughs> Horror comedies hold a fine line between horror and comedy. Who can do it good? Is it more comedy in horror? What is it here? I say that it's more comedy here than uh, horror, but the horror I thought was gonna hold back because there's a lot of kills and cocaine bear at the beginning. I'm like, oh, y'all cutting away, y'all just showing a limb. Y'all not getting violent, at least, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna give me cocaine bear, give me cocaine bear. Right. But I'm happy to say when they did show the bear doing violent things, I was like, okay, y'all getting kind of brutal with it. Even though some of the kills were um, cut away, you know you, you know how they do. I was like, I, I'm expecting that visceral violence, the bear to literally rip people apart. Let's just say this. Um, cocaine bear ain't got shit on that bear in the revenant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as far as being terrified for this bear, is this movie really scary? Absolutely not. Once you see the bear in, in the movie, you, you can blatantly see it's a CG bear. And sometimes it's just fucking looking at uh, butterflies and it's all kookily eyed. You're like, this is obviously a CG bear. They actually hammering up. This movie knows what it's doing. It know, it's aware of itself. It's called Cocaine Bear. So we're gonna really ham it up. I just wish they would've hammed it up a little bit more to be honest with you um there's characters all over this place there's a mom and daughter thing they're lost in the woods trying you know saying get back to their family you don't really care about their characters i think the most two interesting characters to me was oj shackton and aaron eckhart the guy who played han solo i kind of cared about their characters a little bit but i didn't but then there's subplots that go nowhere my man that'd be like she yeah, he plays the cop in here and um his story really goes nowhere then there's a cop another cop that's a girl that she didn't even need to be in the movie. I would say my favorite scene in this movie has to do with the ambulance drivers. The ambulance drivers show up to check out a disturbance or something. Somebody had a, uh, a concussion or something like that and they find a bunch of dead bodies and then the cocaine bear is in the closet. I think this sequence right. is the it's best crazy. part of the whole movie because the cocaine bear is, is as high as it possibly can right now. You see it in the trailer, the bears chasing the ambulance, it's intense, they're trying to shoot at it, and you get a lot of cool deaths from this scene. Uh, the rest of the movie, the, the deaths are okay. I, I wish they would've even turned it up uh, to another notch because I see movies do it better. Like Evil Dead 2 is a horror comedy in my eyes, but I think it leans more on the horror. Shaun of the Dead is a comedy horror, but I think Shaun of the Dead leans a little bit more on the comedy, but it's absolutely a horror movie at bay. This one had a tricky time finding in this balance, you know, if I'm to be honest. 
We have these characters spread all throughout the, the forest in different places, which makes the pacing off because they just kind of stumble across the bear and they come across the bear and they do certain things. And I've seen some stupid mistakes. This is one scene in this movie when a bear falls on uh, Han Solo's character or whatever. And then there's a guy standing right next to him. He's supposed to be like, you know, froze, but he doesn't get up and run from the bear. I just thought that shit was like stupid. It's a whole cocaine rage infused bear right behind you. You're not going to get up and run they just kind of stand still so I, that was a little weird to me and I would honestly say the pacing in this film is off it, it makes the film seem longer than it is I think the runtime is about 130 minutes and it seems longer because we try to focus on these characters but like we really don't care it should have been more in a confined space with the cocaine bear trying to get to the cocaine or getting to some cocaine and, and, the, and them getting that at all I think that, that would have been better with that being said, I did enjoy watching this movie better than uh, Knock at the Cabin Door or Knock at the Cabin or whatever. I, I don't know. It just uh, it was more entertaining. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. The movie's called Cocaine Bear. So know what you're getting into before you even buy a ticket to this. While well, I advise you to buy a ticket to this and see it in the theaters. Yes, if you got a bunch of friends and you're on some type of substance, whether that weed, uh, Coke or, or, or whatever you're going, I think you enjoy this movie, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better because it's, it's that type of fuckery movie. This movie's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's plenty of fuckery. But speaking of fuckery, this movie came in number two at the domestic box office with Ant-Man dropping to its lowest stakes in Marvel history. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp almost had like a 70% drop and Cocaine Bear almost beat it domestically. What does that tell you, you know? A movie called Cocaine Bear going up against the, ma the flag star of Marvel movies with Ant-Man and the Wasp and Jonathan Cain and it dropped that dramatically and I'm sure that Cocaine Bear costs a hell of a lot less than Ant-Man and the Wasp. I mean, Marvel, y'all gotta get y'all shit together. If you fucking battling with Cocaine Bear, you know what I'm saying, at the end of February, y'all supposed to clean up the rest of February until the next flagship movie come out, like uh, John Wick or um, Creed 3. To keep it a buck with you, I don't know if I would recommend you to spend your money in the theaters to go see uh, Cocaine Bear. If you got a lot of friends, y'all into this type of fuckery that it is, you got to know what you're getting into. Uh, make sure you got some beer, some weed, you know what I'm saying, Where you, whatever you went into, go see Cocaine Bear. And maybe you'll get a few laughs out of it because I, I, I just found the jokes to fall flat shit 80 percent of the time they were trying but they were trying too hard the cg bear is kind of funny at what it does but this is a better movie like i said late night with a frozen pizza and a couple of your buddies just chilling so with all that being said what do you guys think of cocaine bear <laughs> let me know what y'all thought about this movie in the comments below did you go see it are you waiting for streaming you know to check this movie out yo once again everybody out there thanks for watching this video i really appreciate it of course if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you really like this content consider subscribing to the channel and do a lot of cocaine don't just stare at it snort it peace been exposed, walk up on you slow with the flow, and I know you got mo left for dead on the road. I strode when your car got to